What's going on, fellas? So I want to talk to y'all about something, man. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you guys need to stop being so picky. You, you guys need to uh, start going for like the fours, fives, and uh, sixes. Sometimes even sevens if you're lucky, if you could even get that. But um, I feel like a lot of you dudes are trying to go for women that are, I don't want to say out of your league because no woman is really out of your league. But I want to say you guys are going for the women that are not good for you. Not good for your mental, not good for your peace of mind. Um, a lot of these women just have no substance. A lot of them are used, used up and abused already. And um, a lot of them just don't serve you good purpose. So I just feel like a lot of you guys are too picky, man. A lot of you guys going after the women that all the other guys want. And a lot of these women that you guys go after, they... They seek you for the wrong things. They want to be with you for the wrong things. They don't want to be with you for you. And a lot of you dudes are too fooled by a big butt and um, a nice chest or a nice smile, a nice skin. A lot of you dudes look at that and you overlook the real things that really make a woman and they, um, for a long-term relationship. You know, for a woman that's just not going to use you for, for material things, use you for your money, use you for, um, for who you know so they can get ahead, you know? <clears throat> so again man a lot of you dudes have women that are right in your faces every day maybe she, maybe she works with you maybe you see her at the coffee coffee shop every morning you know maybe she makes your sandwiches for you you know to this place you go to <clears throat> every week with um with your co-workers or with, with, with your homies homies or something like that you know maybe she's in your inner circle a friend of a friend of a friend and um you're just like oh she's really not my type just because maybe just because maybe she doesn't have that the uh the biggest biggest butt, you know? Or she um doesn't have the biggest boobs, you know what I'm saying? Or she her teeth are not the way you would like them to look. Um um a lot of stuff that could be overlooked. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys go for these women that have these nice bodies and stuff like that. But they are bird brains, you know? They don't have the greatest personalities. You know, you can't hold a great conversation with them. You can't trust them. <clears throat> I just feel like a lot of these, a lot of women can be, uh, a lot of women can be worked on, man. A lot of women, you could, uh, you you could have them pretty much get on the same page as you. Easier than a woman that you would rate a nine or a ten. You get what I'm saying? And um, a lot of you do, some of you do have the money. Some of you do have the money. And uh, if you don't have it now, you will sooner or later. And you're still going to go for that, that greatest looking girl with that nice fit body, that pretty smile and stuff like that. But she doesn't serve you. You know, you guys got to look for a woman that's willing to serve King's treatment. You get what I'm saying? She's got to be the total package. She's got to, if she's going to have the looks, if you're going to give her because of her looks, she's got to be willing to serve that King's treatment. And if you're not looking for a woman that, that's willing to serve King's treatment, then my channel really isn't isn't for you. Because that's what I want for, for all guys. Because that's what I experience. You know, so I want you to experience the same thing. And I experience by not looking for the woman that's considered like the, a nine or a ten. You know what I'm saying? Um, but my woman has potential and she has the work ethic. You know, and she's she's working towards making certain changes. But she's a great woman. She's good to me, man. She's right or die. And she supported me so many years, man. And um, she serves, she gives King's treatment, you know. And of course, there's a, there's other females out there, that, you know, that have better bodies, you know. And uh, but that isn't everything. Body isn't everything. Sex isn't everything, you know. That's not gonna keep me happy. How long? How long is that gonna keep you happy? How long is a big butt and a smile gonna keep you happy? When they, when they can't make you a nice meal after a hard day of work. You know what I'm saying? When uh, you got to worry where they're at because it's late. It's 11, 12 at night and they're still not home. And it's a weeknight. They got to work tomorrow. Um, you know what I'm saying? They dress very, she's dressed very provocative. And she has a very nice body. And she loves attention. You know? These are, these are things you got to worry about when you're going after those types of girls, fellas. You know? But when you go with a woman that's serving King's treatment and she looks good and you could trust her and, you know what I'm saying, great communication, 
you don't have those issues. You know? Just don't be fooled, man. Don't be fooled. Don't don't get a fun time confused with a long time. You get what I'm saying? There's a difference. A lot of those women that have those nice bodies, you know what I'm saying, and always wearing makeup and nails always done and stuff like that. If they willing to let you clap cheeks, go ahead, clap cheeks, but just look at them as a fun time. Don't look at them as a long time. Cause you gotta think, man, the same way you looking at their body like, damn, ooh, and they ate up the attention. There's plenty of other dudes that she may have found attractive that she let clap cheeks too. You got to think about that. And uh, another thing I want to talk to you fellas about is stay away from these women that stayed in relationships where they were cheated on. You know what I'm saying? If if she her, if her most recent relationship, she was, she was with a dude for like, you know what I'm saying, two, three, four years plus, and he cheated on her and she knew about it, she kept giving, get, giving them chances after chances after chances, and you the type of dude where you're not going to cheat on her, you know what I'm saying, you're going to treat her right, and you're going to get her on your program, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna build you 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 gonna build her up, you know what I'm saying? I would suggest you don't take a woman like that serious unless she has gotten counseling. She has to have gotten some serious counseling because women like that are scorned, man. They're hurt. You know what I'm saying? They they in the beginning of the relationship, they're gonna hit you with, oh, where you at? What are you doing? Who you at? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna maybe be going through your phone. Because they're gonna use the past, the past, um, the past trust issues they had in their previous relationship, they're going to put on you. You're going to start to feel that pressure. You get what I'm saying? And a, and a lot of times, those women don't have respect for themselves, man. They don't value themselves. If you're going to keep giving a dude a chance after chance after he was sticking his dick in another woman more than once, a lot of times these dudes are nasty. They're not using protection. Why would you take her serious? She doesn't take herself serious. She was risking herself of STDs, risking herself of getting a, getting a, a, a baby, having a, her dude having a baby on her. You get what I'm saying? Risking herself or her pH levels getting thrown off. Risking herself of whatever female that I do was cheating on coming to beat her up or harm her or come to her job and affect her job, affect her livelihood. These are all things you got to think about, fellas. Yes, I know she looks good. Yes, I know she's telling you, oh, yeah, I was hurt. You know what I'm saying? And you, you looking at it as, yeah, she was hurt, but I'm not that type of dude. I'm not going to hurt her. Bro, you're being a simp. You got to ask her, have you gotten counseling? Have you fully gotten over that yet? Nine times out of ten, no, they haven't. No, they have not. Don't be that guy, that rebound guy that she uses to try to get over her ex. Because a lot of you dudes fall into that crap, man. Do not fall into that crap. I'm telling you, man, you are a simp. And at the end of the day, you're not going to win, bro. You're not going to win because, yes, it may be good in the beginning. Yes, you may even have a kid with her. You may, You two may get married. But if she ever, if, if 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 that light ever happens to go off of her brain and she ever starts to regain, know her worth and regain her worth, you know what I'm saying, whether she starts to go into the gym and work on her body or starts to eat right or have a change or just, you know, wake up one day or or talk to a friend, you know what I'm saying, that that went through a, went through a divorce or went through a breakup and is free and feeling free again. Or she watched a certain TV show, follows, follows a certain female, social media um, influence her that maybe sparks that thought in her brain like oh you know what i'm saying you you can you can get better than this she may do it because a lot of you dudes man i'm not trying to be disrespectful i'm not trying to judge dudes but a lot of dudes are not better looking than her previous guy a lot of you dudes that are with that woman that previously was cheated on multiple times by her ex you don't look better than him. and that's why she put up with it she put up with it because he looked good and because he had great d do you look better than him is your is your sex game better than his because if not, that 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 light may go off, that light bulb may go off, and she may say, Oh, I you know, I know my worth. I've been with this dude three, four years. He he's not working on his physique. He's not putting it down in the bedroom anymore like he used to. I could I could leave him. I could divorce him and I could get out I could get child support. You know what I'm saying? I could get alimony and I could start over. I'll even go give me a younger dude. He don't he don't have to have as much money as he made. He could just fuck me good. He could just have a good body. This is what goes through some women's heads. Listen, man, I know a dude. I was just talking to a dude whose wife says she wants to start over. They got two sons together. And she says, oh, I just I want to start over. I want to start my life over. Who knows the reason why? He's not in the greatest shape. He was when they when they were younger. So may, that could be a reason why. And it could be other things. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's because you dudes let yourselves go. But I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. We're not talking about that. We're talking about getting with these females because of their looks and get with these females that been that been cheated on by their exes and dealt with it and put out with it for years.
You gotta be smart, fellas. And listen, if you're somebody who knows this already, don't comment down in the comments and be oh, I can't believe you gotta tell guys this. Because listen, this video is not just for older dudes. This video is for the for the next generation. YouTube is up here unless unless this video gets deleted by YouTube or I delete it. It's up here. It's up here for other people to see, man. It's up it's up here for other people to get this game, man. I'm giving free game. Taking this free game from somebody who knows, for somebody who's experienced, for somebody who lived, lived it, born and raised in CT, for somebody who, who moved and lived in Massachusetts for more than a year, for somebody who lived in Florida for more than a year, who experienced different types of women, man, white, black, Spanish, Puerto Rican, Indian, um, even, uh, uh, dang, I can't even think of it right now, but yeah, man, a lot of different, a lot of different, uh, races I've experienced. So um, I just want to end this video, man, because I'm at the beach right now. Let's see if I can show you. You can see it in the background. I don't know if I can see it or not. But yeah, man, your boy, your boy at the beach right now. I want to put my feet in the water. Not my whole body in the water. Just my, just my feet. Excuse me. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know how you feel about everything I said. If you have any uh, experiences, I love when you guys comment your experiences, man. I love that. I love to read it. And uh, hit the hit the subscribe subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Set your notifications to all. And hit the like video, man. It helps the channel, man. My channel uh, is really growing thanks to guys like you. Thanks to you guys commenting. Let me know how you feel. And I'm sharing my videos and stuff like that. You know, your boy is is uh, pretty much very, very close to being monetized. They reviewed my channel. They said everything is good. But I just got to get a few, few more watch hours. So, um... I can start throwing those ads in the videos and getting paid for them, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.